So now constructive superposition. So today we will try to finish this diffraction part. Okay, and we can do some numericals on diffraction. So we can close this topic. Okay, and uh, tomorrow what would we like to do? Uh, dual nature or uh, semiconductors? Dual nature. So triple going line. Dual nature, atomic, and nuclear physics. Yeah. Then semiconductors. Yeah. Okay. We'll see how we want. Let's finish. Now, so here we have in constructive superposition. See, rest of like suppose there are two waves. Okay, there are two waves, y1 and y2. This is y1 and this is y2. You get a wave of maximum amplitude. Okay, so y is equal to y1 plus y2. This is constructive superposition. Next is destructive superposition. So destructive superposition. So y is equal to y1 minus y2. Okay. So this is constructive and destructive superposition. So, so in constructive superposition, what will happen? You know, the waves arrive in phase for this constructive, for constructive part. Constructive. What will happen? You know, waves arrive in phase. Waves arrive in phase. The second one. Second is total amplitude is higher than the individual waves. Total amplitude is total amplitude is higher than the higher than the individual waves. Okay, this is about constructive superposition. In destructive superposition, in destructive superposition, what will happen? Waves arrive out of phase. Waves arrive out of phase. This will be used in evaluation questions. Evaluation, you mean reasoning questions. Okay. First type of question. These points will be used to that. The second one is uh, total amplitude is zero. Total amplitude is zero. So point is such so points appear dark on the screen. Such so points appear dark on the screen. Dark on the screen. <coughs> this is high out of this. Total amplitude is zero, such so points are here dark on the space. So this was about the interference. Okay. Next one. Uh, this will write what is uh, part difference and phase difference. Okay. You know what is the relation between part difference and phase difference? Uh, uh, part difference is equal to the no end there. No? There's no end there. Yes, ma'am. Lambda by D by Lambda by Lambda Lambda D by D Lambda by 2 pi Yeah, small delta, capital delta is equal to Lambda by 2 pi into small delta, small delta. Yeah. So what is capital delta here? Part of it And small delta is? Very good so that's the relation between uh, now what is the what is the formula for uh, fringe weight beta is equal to lambda lambda by small delta yes ma'am uh, ah lambda not opening the way i know that beta is fourth law the book which closes in the class will open in the same class <laughs> yeah yes yeah. so you have to you know, turn the pages so what is that Beta is equal to lambda. Lambda capital D by small d. Very good. What is small d and capital D? Uh, small d is the length between the slits. Uh -huh. the and slits. Capital D is the distance between the two plates. Uh -huh. Capital D is the distance between, between the, the two plates. Slit and the screen. Uh, slit and the screen. Slit and the screen. Yeah, uh -huh. 
And then what is lambda? Lambda is zero. Isn't that the first? Length of the uh, uh, length. Okay. What there? Wavelength of the source. Source. Oh. Okay, now tell me what is the formula for uh, uh, position of constructive destructive interference? Positions. X is equal to N lambda. N lambda. That uh, is very important. These four formulas are very important. One is uh, N lambda capital D by D. Capital D by small D. And one is constructive. Constructive, constructive positions. Uh, N N minus, 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 minus 1 by 2. Minus 1 by 2 into lambda, lambda, lambda D by, D by D. D. How to learn this formula? Only hardly there are only four or five formulas in interference. Okay, if you don't learn derivative, that is okay, but uh, this, this is important because you know, you can definitely, yesterday we had done so many yeah. CBS here, so definitely there will be so many numericals from interference. Okay, you have to get full marks of interference and diffraction. You do not lose any mark in this. Okay, see, understanding person don't lose this. This all come under understanding and application. Mm -hmm. Derivations come under understanding. And uh, numericals come under application. Yeah, if you are losing mark here, then there is no point. Because, okay, in evaluation, student lose mark, there is a different thing. Yeah. But that is a little difficult. Evaluation means like reasoning questions. Yeah. Yes, no, and also how to write call. You are losing there, that is okay. Because students may not have a proper concept on the subject. But if this understanding application, if you are losing mark, then there is no point. That's what? No. <coughs> Okay, clear, no? So, where's arrival uh, arrive in phase here in constructive supervision? Total amplitude is higher than the individual yeah, wave. The next one is destructive interface. Destructive, what happens? Waves arrive at auto phase. Total amplitude is 0 and such points are up here, yeah. dark on the screen. Okay. Now, <coughs> this this is said to be intensity distribution curve. The, the, the diagram, you can see, no? What is intensity distribution curve? Oh, the, oh. That is said to be intensity distribution curve. Okay. And then bank. Maybe everyone is having vacation or sleeping nicely. Today, what is the Sunday or today is it Sunday? Yes. Yeah, ah, oh, maybe they, they went to church. How is the traffic, uh, Sayam, on the road? So, at right, this time, it's not that much. That's not. Why going? Well, going also. Not that much. In the morning, it's only in the evening. Evening. Yeah. Around 6 o'clock. Actually, well, not the day when you came in the evening, right? Yeah. Well, is. coming also was a traffic. Little bit. Yeah. Little bit. Well, going? Because well, going was there. Yeah. It, 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 around 5 or 6 o'clock was always traffic. Well, coming you can be more. Well, going it won't be there. So, while well, going also is there. Well, coming there is nothing. Going is blocked. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, you cross, you cross the road or you just take the... Uh, uh, your, your parents can come here. Yeah, my parents just come here. So oh, we go through this neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. And it's too much. You have to tell them to park the other side of the road. So it will be easy yeah. for them. Yeah. You won't waste the time. <laughs> because taking U turn is a difficult. Yeah. U turn and then, then it will take time. Otherwise, you are directly go to the Sunday market from there. You take. So that will be easy. So now, next one is uh, hard distance and I just like definition for part difference, phase difference, and detection is that part difference. Part difference is delta, small delta. Okay, so we have you know these are the letters alpha, beta, gamma, delta, eta, zeta, theta, lambda, mu, mu, omega. Okay, these are all the symbols which you use in physics. These are all Greek notations. Again, in that capital, also we have you know, capital means like. Uh, sigma is this, this is capital sigma, which is summation. Summation is yeah. sigma this and the air and uh, electricity. Yeah, these are all the symbols you have used already. This is capital delta. Yeah. yeah like that, you have theta also is like this. It's like this, capital theta. And that's what, so these are all the notations which you use in physics. These are all Greek notations. No, okay. if this was not used, then we would have used A, B, C, D, capital A, B, C, D. It would be very difficult for us to understand. No, no, no. Which one? A, B, C, D. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's all. So we have used this symbol somewhere or the other. So yeah. frequency and 
this is but you can see the fibro index wavelength right? yeah? so both are new right this, this is new n u this is n u this is m u that's the difference new and new okay okay got it sure we say like this and new like this and this is new new okay so we have some more okay uh papa papa is also the teacher in chemistry please what is the topic yeah uh, phase difference and particles phase phase difference means leading or lagging of it leading leading or lagging of it of this then part difference is after delta the difference in then due to difference in length due to path follow So the other is even more capital delta is equal to lambda by two by small delta. Okay. Yes. So two will be. Ah, that's what I'm saying. Small delta, other delta. Small delta is phase difference. Capital delta is path difference. Yes, sir. Angular phase, angular emergence phase, sir. Okay. Small delta, angular emergence. E E. Ah, that is right. The DVA. DVA. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm getting confused. Okay, this is chemistry is not my. Oh, no, 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 you're preparing for chemistry. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. chemistry there. Second, so first part was organic. No, this is organic. No suggestion to organic. Chapter. No, no. I mean, there are two books, right? Yeah. The first book is what is organic? No, first book is physical. 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 What is organic? Physical and inorganic. Second book is inorganic. Oh, okay. Okay. The first book half is over, only two chapters left. No, first book is not there right now. No, uh, so we I said we have. Ah. We have organic and then a little bit of chemistry. Only chemistry or very. I I don't know how people learn that many very really anxious things. Like there is no law or there is. You mean like you know, no like, uh, like eating an organic food. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's like that's chemistry. Sure. There's no law. Enough time logic in this. The last chemistry exam I won. I only doubt the physical chemical acid bases. Ah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. And uh, physical energetics. Yes, that is also it's understandable. And periodic classification, atomic physics. And atomic structure, but I like it. Yes, that's because what I was like with physics. Also. When, it, when it comes, uh, you know, I was out of the mind. It's all one thing. I don't know how to do it. But for biochemistry, it's easy. It's a habit of working. No, because it's like in chemistry, it's like one thing will do so many different things. Ah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like one Very acid, good. we put it in with three different ones, completely different. Yeah, but it is okay. It <laughs> has uh, its own uh, process. Yeah, uh, like process also. So, so you are a uh, computer, right? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. We'll go with diffraction. Okay, diffraction of light. Diffraction is for bending of light. Okay, diffraction of light means bending of light. Around the edges, around the edges of an obstacle, which is known as around the edges. Okay, bending of light uh, around the edges or uh, or an obstacle, or an obstacle around the edges or an obstacle. So what happens? You know, suppose the room is very very dark. And it's a thin hole, like you know. Uh, some room is dark, and there is a thin yeah. hole. We put some light. Well, what happens? The light starts yeah. spreading in the corners. This uh, ability of light is said to be diffraction. Like you know, diffraction is important. It's friction. Exactly like friction. Diffraction. It is important sometimes. It doesn't. It's not important sometimes. Example. Diffraction. If light was just because of bending nature, we are the light is spreading. And we we want to light throughout the room. 
example that like the source is there, it starts spreading at the corner. Good. But sometimes, especially for image formation, we don't like the Yeah, because yeah. Mm -hmm. But if it again, again, if you take laser light, laser light doesn't uh, go with the refraction. Mm -hmm. Understood. Laser light, laser yeah, light, it doesn't just it, it goes in a straight yeah. line. It's, exactly, it goes in a straight line. Laser light. So uh, we say that laser laser light is very good. But can we use laser light for normal lighting system? Mm -hmm. We can't use right. Yeah, for specific purpose only we can use laser light. Otherwise, it is not good. So. We will go with your conditions for diffraction. Okay. This is important. So, conditions for it. Understood? Mm -hmm. Conditions for diffraction. The first one. The size of the obstacle. Or aperture. Aperture means opening. Keep that in mind. Aperture means opening. Yes. Let's suppose this is a glass plate, and then you painted it completely black, and you remove one circular part. Circular means a pinhole, actually. Yes. That is said to be circular aperture. Understood? So that will become circular aperture. Aperture means opening. Keep that in mind. Now, when I say like we are taking a glass plate, and then we make a small like this, this will become slit. Okay, this will become slit, single slit, single slit aperture. Like that, we can make double slit aperture. It's on going. Okay. Now, the size of the obstacle or aperture should be uh, should be of the order of should be should be of the order of. Order of the wavelength of the incident wave of the incident wave. Okay. The size of the obstacle or aperture should be of the order of the wavelength of the incident wave. The second one is the separation between the obstacle. <coughs> the separation between Between the obstacle or aperture and the screen should be considerably large. Should be considerably large. The separation between the obstacle or aperture and the screen should be considerably large. Maybe a few thousands than the size of the obstacle. Okay, maybe I write that. Maybe. <coughs> so here, maybe few thousands. Than the size of the obstacle. Next one is to observe diffraction to observe diffraction of light. We need we need to have a circular aperture. Having dimensions of order ten to the power of minus six meters. So conditions for diffraction is very very important.
Okay, now see here. Blending of light, of light around the edge or the outside is said to be diffraction. Condition for diffraction, there are two, there are two conditions. Number one, the size of the obstacle or aperture should be of the order of the wavelength of the light. Means, suppose wavelength of the light is what? 10 to the power of minus 8 or minus 6 meters, something like that. So, your, your whole, the aperture size also should be like that only. It should be nanometer like that. Very, very fine dot example. The second one is the separation between the obstacle and aperture and the screen should be considerably large, taken with thousands. Means what? If the aperture size is in micrometers or nanometers or Armstrong, then your then your screen distance between the slit and the screen should be at least a meter. Understood? It should be in centimeters of one power. So that means this is a difference of thousand. Now then only you can observe the diffraction pattern. Next is to observe diffraction pattern, we need to have obstacle aperture having dimensions that is how much 10 to the power of minus 6 meters. Then only you can observe the diffraction. Otherwise, you cannot observe the diffraction. Okay. So this is very, very important. Now we will start with diffraction of a single slit. Okay. Let me see what exactly is there in this locus and what they have deleted. Okay. Okay. So go from here to finish the seven. Yeah, one o'clock. He says only in this diffraction due to single state and width of central magnet. That's it. Resolution, everything is deleted. Okay. Resolution of uh, telescope, microscope, and all. Yeah, that's all. That's all deleted. For this year, this academic year, everything must come back. Okay. Losers. Yeah? Losers. Study everything. So for them. They have objective also. I have no idea, no idea. How it is going to go now? Sir, from next year onwards, can't we really have no books? Yeah, yeah, I can't tell anybody. Yeah, they don't have Yeah, they yeah, are yeah, going to. But that should be there. Actually, we are assessing for ICSE and all, they are going with 10th only. 10th only, there is 10. If they remove the board, then there is no point. There was never any point of bad boards. No, it is difficult actually. It is difficult because it is difficult. Yeah, it's difficult. The specialist, whatever the uh, options you take, it depends on the 10th yeah. one. Yeah. What else they gave us on model exam? Yeah, then also, no. We are preparing for the board, right? Yeah. Uh, then also, it is only based on that. And also, if you get low scoring finals, they will not get the same stream. Yeah. Conditional stream will be there sometimes. Mostly it depends if you are switching the stream. So, yeah. But then this like because some, yeah, because some schools will be like, oh, your board marks. They will be like, oh, it's just you know your school exams. No, no, so yeah, that's not part of should be there. Do you think they do that? No. Sorry, our revolution. No, this exam. <laughs> Sorry, our country didn't hold boards this year. <laughs> You know, uh, like uh, when when uh, when uh, government uh, decided, like CBC decided, like not to go with courts immediately. What they did, you know, they uh, hold like an offshore university. There is a quota actually. Every Indian, every foreign university has a quota for certain countries. Yeah, yeah. They said that we will not open the quota for this year for Indian students. Oh. You know, then, uh, then at last again, they they wanted to conduct the exam. Some people went to Supreme Court then. And Supreme Court, like at last they go, like we will not conduct that exam. Many universities did not open the quota for any students, you know? Oh. Yeah, because the, because it was internal or not? No. Yeah. Yes. Even the IGCC didn't have any exam. Even IGCC didn't have any quota exam. Yeah, they have. That is the reason they, they for some universities, they allowed. But IGCC and C, the British curriculum, they have a regular pattern actually. It's not like that. They conduct mock examination. And many are there, Mark 1, Mark 2. Many, many British schools did open, even I think American schools and Canadian schools, uh, universities, they open. No, they open. Yeah. They would have, no, last year batch was, they would have COVID batch. Yeah. 
Okay, it starts reading like this. Clear? So it starts next, it goes to the second slot. It's moving in that way. Once it is done with the first group, that is first second group. Like spiral, second spiral. It comes out like this, it comes out like this. Then again goes in, into this. So it's very similar to the ground. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But what is happening here, you know? Laser light. Here light laser light incident and then reflects back. How the laser light incidents? Actually, in a group, again, I'm speaking about this line now. Yeah. How it is, you know, it has. We have like this. This is 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. Yeah, the groups are in that again, the groups are like this. So when light incidents, see. The light incidents. Hi John, how are you? Very late today, what happened? Now, when light incidents, it reflects back like this. See? Mm -hmm. When light incident like this, see? Then what is the what is happening? See when light incident like this, it reflects back like this. Yeah? yeah. That is detected. But what happens here is like this is Suppose one reflects back to the same thing, yeah. but here what happens? It goes into the well. Yeah, yeah. Then what happens? Half wave comes here and half wave comes here. Out of phase. Yeah. Oh. Because of that, what happens is one is one is in phase, one is out of phase. Yeah. When, when, it, when the path difference, when the path difference is, if the path difference is you know, same, not a problem. If the path difference is like lambda by two. Then what will happen? Then at that time it will take it as zero. Okay. So this, this is lambda by four. This is lambda by four. Mm -hmm. Lambda by four and lambda by four will become lambda by two. Yeah. If the difference is going with lambda by two, it is disturbed to interference. Mm -hmm. It will give zero. If the difference is lambda, two lambda, three lambda, mm -hmm. then it will take it as consecutive mm -hmm. superposition. It will give one. So one zeros are recorded and it will, it will convert it into a digital and then you can see the movie or we can see whatever you like. You understand now? That is how the CD is so complicated. It is just CD. Yeah, that is how then again came DVD. Oh, yeah. Yeah? DVD was the same thing. Same. But CD maximum capacity is 700 MB. DVD goes with 4, 4 GB. Okay. That's the difference. It has more flows to the standard. Okay. Oh, so the DVD player is different from the CD player. So, so the, now the DVD player can, but can read is two in one. The laptop CD, this one is CD and DVD. Mm -hmm. Understood now? So this is the thing which rotates and this will move back and forth, source and detector. Direct, Got it? So that is how it works. Right? So that is how it works. Yeah. Interesting, right? So this is another CD. The CD is completely based on interconnect phenomena. Okay. Yeah. So you can you now you can tell your friends about this. Yes. Some guy you don't know about this. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know how it works. <laughs> Understood. And it has only four layers. This uh, our CD has only four layers. The top mm -hmm. and bottom is a protective layer, and one is a blue layer. And one is a plastic layer. That's it. So how many like groups are there? Like there are some group. I don't know how many or how many to be there. But <coughs> the CD has seven hundred. Capacity of 700 MB and DVD has uh, that, that mm -hmm. is very fine actually. If you compare the CD and DVD, the group thickness or the line thickness uh, of DVD is much smaller than the CD. I think four to five. Yeah, so if we increase the size of the CD, we can increase the space. Make the line thick. Yeah. So if you so if decrease the thing. decrease the thickness of the group or line, then we can. No, if we make the radius of the whole CD bigger. But this is the size, oh, yeah, 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 in the middle. So, like, right, will it be able to store more? Yeah, more right. information. But when I, when I, what is the meaning of CD? Compact disk. And you meant compact, right? You don't want a big one, right? So that, is, that is also important. So, but after that, this is now, now it is no more used now. They are going with USB drives and all. Yeah. What is the CD? Is like an active disk. Keep yeah. In that. When we were small, we were using the, you know, uh, the pocket disk. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have three quarter of quarter disk and five and a half quarter disk. Uh, quarter disk. Very, very sensitive. It's little dust and computer all the And also, 
the computer will not have any that's not the how much is all the computer number you know 8 mb 800 mb mm. the total capacity of the computer was around uh, i think hardly 800 mb mb you can understand now. and that also dos mode and uh, it was dos mode so the windows came only in 97 or 99 somewhere yeah. in india 97 or 99 it came in india till that time we were working on dos mode we did not use that uh, you know windows mode that's yeah, all. So, <coughs> so okay. Yeah. Nowadays, smartwatch has moved. Space. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yes. That, that was a re revolution. If you speak about the computers also, the transistor, you know, in the, the transistor which is in your laptop, it's of this much size, one square inch, you can say. How many transistors are there in that, in that chip? Can you imagine? Any counts? How much? Uncountable. Uh, uncountable, yes, countable, you can count it. Uh, one million transistors. Okay. Yeah, set to count one million. So that, that they, so that one you know, atom, you know, in the. <laughs> the laptops, you know, the processor completely depends on the, the chip. There's one square inch chip has gold in it, actually, gold foil. So when we discard this computer, the motherboard, these people, what they do, you know, they melt that uh, chip and they uh, remove the gold out of it. It's not so easy process, it is like time comes yeah. and so they will uh, melt that and bring out that gold from it. Okay. Now, <clears throat> now we go with diffraction of a single strip, and we can quickly discuss about the maximum minimum resolving for this one, resolving all of this. Now, <clears throat> now, after this, is that? Now, <clears throat> so here, suppose this is a corner, okay, let's like this is a corner. Now, what happens like is bending at the top. I'm taking one bending, one type of one, okay, like this is the bending. Now, let this be this end be L, this be N, and this be M. This is the opening corner, light is bending at the corner. Maybe this, this side also is bending. Okay, but I am taking only one side now for time period. In that, again, I have I have some dots in that, like it is in micrometer actually. The whole size. <coughs> the whole size or the aperture size is very very small, it is micro and nanometer. So it is equal to how much m1 and m1, m1 and m2. This is this dot is m2. Now, uh, so these are those straight lines, light is going straight here. Now this is to C and this is to T. Okay. Now, so all these are making an angle theta with the horizontal okay and because of it there is a path that depends okay right because of the path see there is a path difference yeah so between this and this light there is some path difference right yeah. some extra is there some extra is this much is extra yeah this much is extra now 